nature, wildlife, Mother Earth, all words used when stepping outside your own front door, to places where not so long ago we called our home. From caves, buffalo hide covered teepees, and wooden shelters with moss covered roofs. We only knew one thing, to live off the land, and to only take and harvest what we needed. With the variety of seasons, places, weathers and wildlife, how can you not feel the lost connection with our past? been fortunate enough to travel from tip to toe in the United Kingdom and beyond to islands surrounding our coastline. Photographed more wildlife and sunsets than I ever thought I would. Slept in places that I thought only my dreams could take me to. From frozen grounds to sunburnt skies I've witnessed more of nature's greatest wonders than I thought possible. So why spend so much time and money photographing and filming nature and wildlife? Well to me that's a simple answer but with deeper, more important and meaningful connotations. We live in a world so fast and frantic, so involved in the what, whys and whens, so connected through social media with video cameras following and recording every move we make. I'm not surprised that we suffer with anxieties, depressions and suicides. The only time it was higher than it is right now was during the Second World War. Stress is relieved within minutes of exposure to nature as measured by muscle tension, blood pressure and brain activity. Time in green spaces significantly reduces your cortisol, which is a stress hormone. Nature also boosts endorphin levels and dopamine production, which promotes happiness. The moment I'm outdoors, focused on my senses, I realise that where my lungs need air to breathe and my heart needs blood to pump around my body, it's just as important to feed your mind and your soul. It's so important to just stop once in a while, let your mind catch up, your body relax and your soul rejuvenate. We have been so quick to forget our past, but the emergency to look back to who we once were has never been greater. If we can do that, maybe we can realise the importance of what we have done and make the required changes needed to save our planet.
when I'm sat there, quiet, still, hidden, waiting for this animal that I followed through tracking footprints, its poo, or even by what it's eaten, I swear I feel a deeper connection with my surroundings. A sense of the same feelings of anticipation that our ancestors would have felt thousands of years ago. We all feel a very sad connection with our mobile phones and that's because of the time we spend on a one-to-one -one basis with them. Imagine the same feeling of familiarity with nature if we do with our technology. In a world so full of pain and anguish, I hope that even in a small way, this video will inspire people to go step outside and get even the smallest of understandings of how I feel when I'm free out in the wilds. I want to leave you with a few images of nature and wildlife and hopefully it will give you a sense of my world and how I feel when I'm out there filming. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.